Hi, my name is Jason. I live in California and I'm going to show you my way of filtering and dewatering waste vegetable oil. Hopefully you can learn a thing or two. First, I pick up the oil from the restaurants in Cubies. Sometimes it's in boxes, sometimes it's not. It's nice they put it back in the QB for me. There's no pumping. Uh, no messes. Uh, just show up and pick up the, the cartons. Um, sometimes they give me this uh, liquid creamy fry shortening. Um, the problem with that is it's really thick. Um, it requires heat for filtering. So I try to stay away from that and only get it from restaurants that have the, the clear liquid fry shortening or oil that's liquid at room temperature. Um, the oil this oil looks dirty. It should look a little bit dirty. It's been used. It's been settling for about a week. I like to let it settle for two to four weeks before I use it. All the, if there's any dirt or water, it'll settle down to the bottom and you can pour off the top slowly and carefully. Um, these containers, they do not reuse. Um, however, most people do that. Um, the thing you have to worry about is after a while uh, these will start to crack and, and leak. And for transporting, I always like to have them in the box. It's, um, it's a safeguard. So uh, once I um, have the QB settled for about two to four weeks, I'll um, either pour them into the top of my system, the top of these barrels up here, or for better settling, um, faster filtering, uh, I'll put it in another settling tank. It's a 55 gallon drum and I'll let it settle for about two weeks. Um, and from this I'll pull off the top two thirds and I use a pump to do that. It's a 12 volt pump. Uh, this pump uh, is taken, it's a Tut Hill. I'm trying to look for the model number 1612, FR 1612. Um, the problem with this is the uh, fuse kept blowing when I was using it. Um, and I found that on my other pump as well, the fuse, the wires weren't crimped properly. Um, so I just took the fuse out and uh, it's been working fine. Uh, I have a pre-filter on this. I don't want anything to clog up the pump. This pump doesn't have a filter on it. Um, I could also use a filter on the end of uh, the pickup tube, but I didn't have an extra one, so I just plumbed in a filter right here before the oil goes through the pump. So I'll hook this up to a 12 volt battery and pump off the top two thirds of this barrel, and the outlet hose is plumbed in and it fills up these two garbage cans. These garbage cans are plumbed with tank adapters. Um, these are made uh, to get for to put an outlet out of uh, most plastic tanks. I have shutoff valves and gravity feeds this through a couple filters. This is the house water filter. Uh, it's got a shutoff. Um, it's, I have filters in here that I think are 20 or 30 nominal and they're about three or four dollars each. Um, then it's plumbed through the Donaldson diesel truck filter. These are common for filtering vegetable oil. Uh, diesel truck filters are. This one happens to be a, a pretty large one and it's fairly inexpensive. It's about $14. Um, it blocks water and filters to 10 micron absolute and um, through this process I had to put air release because the oil will get caught up by air bubbles so on each step I have um, an air release uh, pipe so after the oil goes through the Donaldson filter it's filtered down to 10 micron absolute all the free water has been blocked by the Donaldson filter and then it goes into this pipe which is a stand pipe it doesn't drip in the top it goes down to the very bottom of the tank 
the very bottom. Um, that's where all the uh, particles under 10 micron and all the suspended water stays while the good oil floats to the top. Um, this unit's outside. Um, you know, it heats up to about uh, 70, 80 uh, during the fall and spring, over 100 summertime, and about um, 70 degrees in the winter. So that actually helps the water settle as well. So this, this system is called upflow settling. Um, so the, it actually settles while it's going up. Uh, and it's cold. It's, there's no heat applied other than the sun. Um, and I also use gravity filtration to get that through. Um, I had no idea when I first started, but um, you know, I, I saw some simple gravity kits and just amazed how quickly the oil can flow through just, just with gravity. Especially if it's a little warm, a little warm outside and the oil is clean. I can filter about 50 gallons in uh, less than 48 hours. So from the tank, I put the outlet about two-thirds of the way up, figuring don't want to accidentally catch anything that's, that's on the bottom. Um, and it gives me a, you know, about 70 gallons to work with uh, from here to the top. Um, so I have a shutoff valve, another tank adapter, and that runs through a three-quarter inch um, Schedule 40 PVC pipe. This is the outlet that goes to my fuel pump and this is close to my driveway. It makes it easy to fill up the car or truck. Um, this is a 120 volt AC pump so I have to hook up an extension cord. Um, this pump has a filter already inside um, and the oil is clean coming out so I don't need to, to filter it. Um, and I have a recognize this. It's a, a regular fuel nozzle that makes it easy for filling up any tank in any vehicle. It's got the automatic on. It stays on. Uh, it does not automatically shut off so you really have to watch it. So that's about it. Um, I'll recap the oil goes, the dirty oil goes either in the top of these puppies then down or in the for more settling gets pumped in or I could actually dump it in the top of these if I'm in a pinch goes through a first primary filter then a secondary fine filter into the bottom of the tank gets pumped out by my auxiliary pump close to where I need it and there's nothing like seeing uh, liquid gold Waste vegetable, clean waste vegetable oil come out of a, a gas nozzle. Uh, so that's it. Thanks.